Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about subclinical vitamin B1 deficiency. Now subclinical means that it's not necessarily showing up on a blood test. It might be deficient but not enough to show up clinically, okay? I mean you don't end up with a major B1 deficiency overnight. It's a gradual thing which becomes worse and worse over time. So I wanted to show you some of the symptoms, some being subclinical, some being more advanced, okay? So nervousness, like a lot of nervous tension, that's a B1 deficiency. Uh, forgetting too often, that's a B1 deficiency. You can't concentrate, B1 deficiency. Feeling cold, B1 deficiency. Unsteady gait, nystigmus, which is basically more advanced where your eyes are kind of dancing back and forth. Also, if this becomes really bad, the muscles on the outside of the eye become atrophied to the point where you lose your control of looking to the left or to the right. Okay, you can't look this way anymore. Um, that's a major B1 deficiency. Higher pulse rate, cataracts, which is a major B1 deficiency. Edema, that's swelling in the ankles, S like a baker cyst would be a B1 deficiency. And normally when you see B1 deficiencies, you also see the person either having insulin resistance or a diabetic um, because too much refined sugar or refined flour or refined grains, like in breads and pasta and cereal, deplete B1. Let's, so let's talk about some of the other things that can create a B1 deficiency. Alcohol will do it. Being an alcoholic will do it in a major way. Taking dextrose, which is in a lot of products. Chemotherapy, HIV, kidney disease, like I said, refined carbohydrates, and fructose, as in high fructose corn syrup. So I really believe a lot of people have a B1 deficiency without really knowing it because it's subclinical. It's not showing up on a test. So a way to correct this is to, of course, avoid what's depleting it and also add in there B vitamins. So the challenge you're going to run into is a lot of the B vitamins out there are made synthetically, and I don't recommend that. I only recommend it if you're doing a detox temporarily, but not as a maintenance or a way to correct your B1 deficiency. Nutritional yeast is hands down one of the best uh, sources of B vitamins, especially B1, and it's natural. Unfortunately, a lot of times they enrich it with synthetics. So you want an unfortified nutritional yeast. And also you can get it in a pill form, but make sure you get the one that's non-fortified. Thanks for watching. Hey, tell me what you think about this video. Go ahead and comment below and give me your feedback.